Leith in Baxley, Georgia. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seeing Mo Better and looking Mo Better, and I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut the Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses with Transitions Extra Active Gray and the Blue Flash Mirror for your Oakley Airdrop, size 53, color 03, the Gray Shadow. And let me take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. Your Oakley hard shell case. Your Oakley carrying bag slash cleaning cloth. And of course the star of the show, the main attraction. It comes with two plastic sleeves on each temple to protect the temples from rubbing together. I'm going to put those two on there when I ship to you. Most of the time they only come with one. This must be a special frame. But this is, hopefully you guys can see that well enough, the Oakley 8046 Airdrop 53 eye size, color 03, the gray shadow. And of course, in larger print, it says Airdrop on this side of the frame. One of Oakley's best-selling frames. If you guys don't know which plastic get, start with this one. It's available in many colors and four sizes, but I'll get to that later. But first, I want to pop out your original demo lenses. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program this shape into the computer. You were Secret Agent 2166. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can mail them right to your home. You are also volume 2166 of my 327 volume, 327 million volume series of cutting a pair of glasses for everyone in America. The little stylus is going around and tracing the inside shape of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. Of course, everything is tax free and I include uh, my, my receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have unused health savings account or flex dollars, you can submit this receipt and get reimbursed for this purchase. Now let's move on to the next screen. I'm going to enter your pupillary distance and the optical center height. Your pupillary distance for the right eye is 34. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap that plus button. Let's take the seg height, the position of where to 18, change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. Now I've already dotted up your lenses. This tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. That's going to sit directly in front of your pupil. And then every progressive has two laser engravings on the side. But first I need to grab a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I also should back up and say I am an authorized Oakley dealer. But as a small independent optician, I've been told I'm not legally allowed to post pictures of the frames with prices on my website. So do what Leap did. Email me, the contact button on the website. Email me, tell me what size and color frame you want, and I'll check on the price and availability and get right back with you. So... I have two double-sided adhesive stickers here that need to go onto the block. I'm going to stick this one onto the first one. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That little silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And I'm going to get this laid out just perfectly. Now in my last video I was using some Zeiss progressive lenses. Zeiss does not do the extra active with one of the six colors of flash mirrors. So we're going with the Essilor. Of course, I'd already ordered these. These take two weeks, but Zeiss does have transitions and transitions extra. Of course, they call it photochromic, but Essilor owns the name transitions. Zeiss calls it photofusion. Coke, Pepsi, you say potatoes, I say... <laughs> You say potato, and I say, who are you, and why are you saying potato to me? So I need to change your pupillary distance for the left eye to 35.5. Same optical center height. Get everything laid out perfectly. So if anyone wants one of the flash mirrors on top of Extra Active, I'm still using the Essilor lenses. I will be going back and forth. I'm just trying to give people more choice. You can also get Shamir lenses should you want them. But I've been primarily Essilor, Essilor, 
Some people have requested Zeiss, so I said, okay, I'm going to make it happen. I'm wearing them now, too, and i got to admit, it's a really nice lens. You know, it's it's like uh, Mercedes and BMW. You can't go wrong with German <laughs> engineering, and same for Zeiss and Essilor. They both make incredible progressives. Now, single vision is less critical, but in progressives, it's always the the speed at which you get to the reading and the width of the field of view in a progressive, and those are the two best companies out there. So... Let me wake up the computer. This is job ID number 2166. Remember volume 2166 in my 327 million volume installment of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned and watch all 327 million videos. Why don't you? So, let me grab my stylus. These are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, Hindex, plastic, or Trivex. I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens. It's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Oops, I, I just turned it off. There we go. Back on again. So now the magnet's going to do its job. Well, actually, the cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper that's going to grind away your lens material from this size to this size. This wheel in the center that has that channel, that little bevel, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I just don't know another joke to tell at this period either. So, hit the start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two wide styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none in this frame. But it is a routine procedure and I do cut stronger prescriptions all day long for how much? For free when you buy the frame from me. By the way, in the description below, I will have a link telling you how to buy Oakley's for me. Pretty much the same thing I said, but some people just like to read. Oh, that does sound un-American. Who reads anymore? I will text you the instructions. I will put it on Snapchat and it will disappear after one second. You better be paying attention. So the light flickering in the background is water. That's there to actually catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens. However, plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, which are different materials, do cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lens, but only for the last 20 seconds. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact ballistics grade lenses, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It all, speaking of protection, it also has 100% UVA and UVB protection. Now all transition lenses block 30 to 40% of the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and of course the sun. Where well, the transition is extra active block 50 to 70 percent of that harmful blue light the other nice thing of course yes we mentioned it does come with the mirror on the front surface they all come with an anti-reflective coating on the back surface i cannot add crizol to these you've heard of crizol crizol anti-glare i cannot add that it has its own proprietary anti-glare on the back surface of the lens oops put that over there so we won't need it but i'll need that cloth in just a moment but so you're not compromising anything. This lens gives you the most protection all the way around and making you look cool while doing it. 100% UVA and UVB protection blocks 50 to 70% of the harmful blue light. It has the anti-reflective coating on the back surface and of course one of six mirror coatings on the front. It comes in silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink. You got the blue. Although being in Georgia, I'm surprised you didn't go with the red, the, the Georgia Bulldog red, but you might not be a Bulldog fan. You might be Georgia Tech. You might be some other college in Georgia. I just can't think right now. I'm in ACC country. You're down in SEC. 
I know Auburn and Alabama next door to you. Of course, Florida's got a few schools, but... By the way, this frame is the gray shadow. I do want to say it comes in a 51 and a 53 and a 55. All the other colors, here's a conspiracy. All the other colors go to a larger 57 eye size. This one, Oakley, comes in four sizes and several colors. This is the Satin Core 10 color. What color is that? My hands are shaking. Too much caffeine. Color 11. And then we have the Black Ink, which is color 02, which is black with the silver Oakley emblem. I believe it comes with a red emblem as well. And all four sizes, 51, 53, 55, and 57. This is the only one that does not come in a 57 air size, and I don't know why. There's a lot of things I don't know, and I, I compensate for that. Great, one more thing to compensate for. <laughs> so, I just want to clean all the, the sawdust off the edge of your lens. We're going to see if it fits into the frame first time around. Tuck it in at the outside corner. In years from now, should you ever need new lenses, well, let's, we'll get back to that. Tuck it in at the out. Now, I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Elbows touching my sides. Press down at the nose and it snaps right in. Let's take this block off. Pull the sticker away. Dry, my hand-approved drying method. I always dry them off. I don't know why. Stick that onto my collection. Throw that back in there. Now, should you ever need to change lenses in an Oakley AirDrop, turn the frame around where the lenses are pointed downward. Put your, I'm right handed, so I put my left thumb on top, put my right thumb on top. Well, actually, no, I'm backwards. I've been known to do that, and then it just pops right out. Again, to put the lens in, what I did is I pulled up on the top of the frame while pushing downward on the lens, holding it by both sides so it doesn't fall on the floor. To put it back in again, I rotate the frame around where the temple tips are pointed towards the floor. Tuck it in at the outside corner first. The reason why I push down at the nose, the thickest part of the frame is right there. I always like to. Some people like to put it in here and push there, but which you could. I just always like to push down at the nose. So let's flip that over to L. L. The magnet goes into the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Charles, or tonight I'm calling it the leaf. Hit the green start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced again by the same two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And you can see as it's tracing the left side. Ding! You may now turn the page. And of course, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel for the best cosmetic look possible. Although, what I tell you, Leaf, you got no edge thickness. None. No edge thickness whatsoever. That's why I use the thinner, lighter weight lenses. Then I mentioned they were unbreakable and have our impact resistant as well. So we're going to come down here, place it in the just above the black dot into my Marco 101 lensometer. Read the power. Oh, just turn the axis wheel to 130. Ooh, that was scary. That didn't come into focus. 130. And I'm getting... Where's my stylus? Minus a quarter. One tick mark going away from zero towards one in the red. Not the black. Those are plus powers. See the plus? These are minus powers. One tick mark. That's because you have the smallest, you are nearsighted. With your glasses off, you can see up close. Well, you could until you turn 40. But, so you have one step of, of farsighted correction, the smallest amount you can have. You have two steps of astigmatism correction. So this first number gets everything in the correct size. The, uh, uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob, we're going to turn that fine two knob to 130, but let's you have a curve on your eye this way, minus a quarter. You have an additional two steps steeper this way, 90 degrees away. So this quarter is at 40. Your astigmatism 90 degrees away is at 130. So that's why we put the axis wheel at 130. Let's check the power. And I'm getting minus 75, going away from half towards one. That's because, remember high school algebra, you add two like signs together. Minus a quarter, minus a 50. Yeah, okay, nobody remembers that. Let's use today's terms. You loan someone 25 cents and then they borrowed another 50 cents after that. They would owe you 75 cents. That's where at, 75 cents in the red. Now this last number where there's two curves lined up could be anywhere from zero to 180. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. We're gonna turn to 130 for the right eye. The axis for the left eye is 75. 
So you need no power correction to see distance out of your left eye, but you have three sticks, sticks, three steps of astigmatism correction. Now, you have an Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lens. It's called the ADD, the bifocal strength, because it means in addition to what's up top. Now, for reading glasses, the over-the-counter reading glasses, you add these two numbers together. So technically, plus 175 and minus a quarter, you can need a plus 150 in your right eye. Plano, which is no power, plus 175 in the left. Of course, for short periods, you can use over-the-counter reading glasses. But they don't, they magnify, but they don't correct for the astigmatism correction. So if you're doing any long-term reading, this will make things much sharper and crisper. Take the lens out, dry it off. Run my thumbnail around to make sure I got all the optical sawdust off your lens, also known as Schwarf. I would say, may the Schwarf be with you, but it ain't because I cleaned it off. I cleansed it myself. So again, I turn the frame around. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Tuck it in at the outside corner first where it's in the groove. Push down. Ooh, it doesn't want to go in. Let's do another tenth of a millimeter. Where's that stylus? One twentieth of a millimeter, one tenth. Hit retouch. Just like before, the clamp shuts. And instead of going to the cutting wheel, it's going to drop down to the wheel in the center of the bevel wheel. You can always cut more off of a lens. You can never add it back on. So I'm glad it starts a little bit large and works its way down. It takes me an extra minute. My condolences. You have to listen to me for an extra minute in this video. But that's the difference between ordinary and extraordinary. Is that little extra at the beginning. I want to make sure everything fits in there perfectly. If I were to force, a lot of optical shops use heat. To adjust glasses, now I do use this for the temples to adjust them. Of course, you don't need to on this frame, but on others. But I don't like to use it on the frame front. I do everything known as a cold mount. If I were to force the lens in there, it would cause the frame to stretch or to roll. We in the industry say roll if you can imagine your frame like a gutter. If the lens were too large, the skinniest part of your frame, which is here, would roll outwards, causing you to give you an ugly cosmetic look, as well as shortening the life of the frame. So you want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses. I am OCD. OCD stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disarray. <laughs> I do have my clutter. It drives my wife crazy, but hey, when you've been married this long, it's, it's the little things in life. <laughs> That's right. I'm talking about you, honey. So clean everything off the lens. Oops, I saw a little piece there. Again, tuck the lens in the outside corner, push down the nose. Now it snaps in there easily. Pop that off, pull the sticker off, use my hand approved drying method, go for a three point shot. Oh, and he makes it. Add to my sticker collection, come down here to the lensometer, spin the axis wheel to 75. Exactly halfway between 70 and 80. Put it in, read the power, and I am getting zero Plano. It's not just a city in Texas. P-L-A-N-O. I abbreviated it. Stands for no power. You have three steps of astigmatism correction. Let's check that. And we end up at minus 75. One tick mark away from one. So that is cut perfectly. Your pupillary distance for the right eye is 34. The left 35.5. For a total of 69.5. I'm going to turn the card around. Place my PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. And then when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 69.5. Man, the kit is good. You have an, this should be 18 millimeters from the center of the middle of the frame, not the bottom of the lens, where the middle of the frame is because of the bevel. We're at 18 millimeters there. 18 millimeters there. This is known as final inspection. Of course, this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mention that when there's, of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. and Baxley, Georgia is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit 
higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And that's why 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I press down on the counter. There is no wobble. Of course, normally when I take mine off, these, these are known as pilot temples. If you can imagine a World War II pilot with a hard helmet on sitting in the cockpit, you can slide these types of glasses on and off without taking your helmet off. Same for motorcycle riders. So now these can be adjusted behind you and you can actually adjust these yourself. There's a metal core inside there. You can also give it more wrap this way or if it feels too tight, you can loosen it. But again, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But let me just finish checking. See, so we've got to do that side next. No wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do, same amount of tension on each hinge. Now, this frame sells for the Oakley Airdrop, the model number 8046, sells for $173. The progressive additional lens, we call it a progressive lens, as you look down it progressively gets stronger and stronger. Just like when you step on your gas pedal, the further down it goes, the stronger the horsepower. Same thing here is the stronger the reading power. Everything from here above is your distance correction. Everything from there below starts to magnify. Now that the progressive lens, whether it's the Zeiss or the Essilor, sells for $149.99. The transition is extra active, adds $99.99. And of course the mirror coating is $69.99 for a total of $492.97. Tax free. But this is what your lenses look like the first time. They have yet to have been activated. Now here's something I want to point out. The anti-glare. You have the blue flash mirror. I have Crizal Sapphire on mine. I have a light blue hue at certain lighting at certain angles. Yours looks like Crizal Sapphire on steroids. It just has a little bit more blue to it and certain lighting at certain angles. All right, let me put mine back on. By the way, I'm wearing the, I can't even see. I'm wearing the Oakley 8132 color O2 universe blue in the 54 eye size. Put mine back on so I can see again. So, but again, they have not been activated. Let me go ahead and put these in a strong burst of ultraviolet light to turn them dark. As you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now Leaf and everyone else listening, pay attention. All transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time that transition seven and generation eight don't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays so your dashboard doesn't crack from sitting in the sun all day and that's why they won't turn dark in a car. Having said that, Leafs, these extra active, will get about 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Also, the other thing about transitions, they are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Having said that, the transitions extra active are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. And these will get darker in hotter weather. So, unknown name is calling me. You'll just have to wait. So, when you look out, you can see either gray or brown. Of course, you order these in the gray, but the extra active do come in brown with the flash mirrors. When people look at you, they see one of the six colors. This one, again, is the, is the blue. It's easier to see over a dark background. So, but again, it comes in silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink. And then, as I keep talking, it's going to drop back to the the clear portion it has about five to seven percent hue on indoors the transition seven and eight have about uh, three percent so if you've liked what you've seen please like this video not just that subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell icon so you can get future notifications when i upload videos you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses.com on twitter as free rx lenses if you have any questions go to the website click the contact me button you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below i will leave a link on how to order oakley's from me um, down in the description again i am an authorized dealer 
I'm just legally not allowed to post pictures of frames with prices on the website, but just email me, tell me what color frame you want, the model number, and again, I will get, check the price and availability. Again, you get one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. You can upgrade to a line style bifocal. You can upgrade to a progressive no line bifocal. You can do transitions, transitions extra active with any Crizal coating. You can do transitions extra active with one of these six mirror coatings. You can do just the regular transitions generation eight with any Crizal coating. I can do polarized lenses. I can do devoted sunglass lenses with a solid mirror coating where you'll be able to be able to see your reflection in the lens but as you can see it is turning back to virtually clear belief in Baxley Georgia thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8046 airdrop color 03 the gray shadow in the 53 eye size and now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see I'm gonna bring that loving feeling back to glasses thank you